In this episode, we talk informational meetings so you can ninja yourself a job interview. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you're watching episode 12 of the 1% Engineer Show. This is part 7 of our top 10 job hunting tips for engineers. Yup, informational meetings, just like in episode 10, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is life changing stuff. We're going to do a follow up episode to this about how running an engineering blog or a podcast can further reinforce this tactic. Even if you don't run an engineering blog, which I'm sure about 0% of you do, it's okay, just asking for an informational meeting is pretty good too. Just like pretty much everything in my brain and everyone else's brain, I did not invent this idea. I originally learned this from Professor Chris Haran. Chris is an award winning MBA professor, TEDx speaker, entrepreneur, and has the number one best selling business class on Udemy, which is how I found him. He tells all of his MBA students if they have 20 informational interviews on their road to graduation within two years, so it's totally doable there is a 100% chance that they will have a job before they graduate. So just in case you don't know what 100% is, which is hard for me because I never received that score in a single exam, but here's a pro tip, it's pretty good. After you meet someone at a job fair or in any situation in general, if you have someone's business card, if you connect it on LinkedIn, if you have a warm introduction, you have a common friend or anything, you say, hey, I'm Sally Sue or Bob the Builder. This is me, I'm doing this. Reach out to them and ask for an informational interview. I'm sure you've been wondering what the heck is he talking about? What an informational meeting is, is a situation for a prospective employee to discover more information about that employer, their culture, what they do with their service or product that they make. And likewise, that employer is doing research on prospective employees for themselves, for future, and that is you. So it's a give and take. You would not be having this meeting unless you were actually considering this firm to work for. And also they would not be having this meeting with you unless they thought you were potentially eligible to work for them. So if you're still a little bit confused about this, just go to Wikipedia. Yes, it's a real thing. So every chance you possibly can, whenever you meet someone, you get their business card from a job fair or whatever else, it is my advice to you that you reach out to these people and ask for informational meetings. The more, the better. Take Chris's advice, 20. And once you have this meeting, you can maintain your relationship with that person Follow the company on social media, keep in touch, engage with them. And when it's your turn to actually be looking for an internship or a job, you follow up and say, hey, you already know me, do you have a job? And in this situation, because they already have met you, they know you're ambitious, they know you can communicate because they've seen you speak to them face to face, you have a much higher chance of having an opportunity through this warm connection instead of just cold emailing people. We already know that doesn't work. I've talked about this before. Cold inquiries never work. And if they do work, you got lucky because if you already know someone, it just helps so much with that employer to say, oh yeah, totally, you can come in for a job interview because they know that you're not wasting their time. And this type of warm contact, when you actually are looking for an opportunity, goes so far. They don't even have to hesitate to give you a job interview. So your opportunity potential is just so much higher if you have been doing these throughout your road to graduation. So in summary today, guys, have as many informational meetings as you possibly can in your freshman, sophomore, junior, and even senior year to build those relationships, maintain them through university, and then when you're actually looking for a job, your chances are so much better with these warm contacts. Stay tuned for episode 13, where we take a break from our top 10 series and talk about engineering passion. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers!